Hey there, everybody. Right here is the lab for today. More of a demonstration, really. But uh, with me not being there in class, I, I really didn't want any of you to be too disappointed um, with, without me being there. So I thought, hey, I could make a little video situation here going on that they could see what I would have done had I been there. That way they still get to see me and hear me in the classroom. Isn't that fantastic? You're welcome. You're welcome for this. Um, I know you appreciate it. So what I have here, I have two ping pong balls. So first of all, you should have the lab uh, paper. And uh, you should have two ping pong balls. Um, I mean, you don't have them. I have them. You should have a paper. And on that paper, it's asking you about these two ping pong balls. You're supposed to be making some predictions about these two ping pong balls. This one here, with the blue stripes on it and a little piece of duct tape, uh, that one is filled with cotton, like gauze. This one, um, I'm assuming just has air in it. I don't know what they put in these things. Uh, so standard ping pong ball here, the one with stripes is filled with cotton. Therefore, it has more what? Mass, yes, yes, more particles, therefore more mass. So, what I have here is a track. Look at this, look at this, where the ping pong ball can roll down the track. Isn't that fantastic? And then I have a fan. I have, no, it's not just any fan. This is the breeze machine. Of course, it'll probably be backward on the video there, but that, this is the breeze machine. This is the official physics fan. So, hopefully you have read the paper, and hopefully at this point you have the predictions done. If you have not done the prediction sections, then I'm asking you to pause the video right now and complete those on your paper. Okay? Pause. And then complete the prediction sections. And then when you're done, come back. And I'll show you what's going to happen next. Pause. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to place both ping pong balls just at a random place on the track. Hopefully they don't start rolling on their own. Just This table's not the most level in the world. So, I have the two ping pong balls here. First scenario here, I'm going to have the more massive one. Again, the striped one is more massive. The non-striped one is the standard less massive ping pong. I'm going to turn the fan on low and you're going to see what happens. Hopefully it's what you predicted. I don't know. Fan on low. Here we go. All right, fan is on low and I'm about to unleash the breeze machine fury. Here we go. Watch it now. Watch it. Oh my gosh, did you see what I saw? I think maybe you did. It appeared that the non-cotton filled ping pong ball was faster than the cotton filled ping pong ball. Let's do that again just to make sure. And breeze machine on, and here we go. Oh my, most definitely. So, you might want to make some actual observations and write those down. There, oh my gosh, that was this. Uh, you can record those now on your paper and probably pause the video, and then we'll get back to the other part. Here in a second. So the next part is the fan on high. So we saw what, what happened with the fan on low. Uh, here's the fan on high. And let me tell you, this thing, uh, we're talking hurricane force winds here on high. So it is on high right now. I'm sure you can hear, I'm sure you can hear how loud that is. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. 
Ready to rock this thing? Wow. That was so good, I gotta see it again. That was amazing. Did you, did you see that? I mean, could you, can you, can you see that? Once more, because it is so astounding. All right, band on high. And here we go. Yowza. Again, impressive. Impressive. Now, now that this whole thing has been recorded twice for each, you could probably go back and compare the two because I believe in some questions uh, coming up here on the back side, you might want to do some comparison from the fan on low with both of them versus the fan on high with both of them. So take a look at that. Try to answer those questions as best you can based on what you've just observed. And I'll probably be there on uh, Wednesday so we can talk more about that. Um, the more massive one was definitely traveling differently than the more massive one. Did I say more massive one twice? The more massive one was definitely traveling differently than the less massive one. Were these experiencing unbalanced forces? And what do unbalanced forces cause? Hmm. Oh, this is amazing. We'll talk more about this on Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Behave. Finish your, finish your worksheet. <laughs>